Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting, and this week I want to go for something that is, uh, yeah, quite a basic technique, and it's one of the techniques that I really like the most to use. So it's one technique that with really, or uh, with, uh, I would say, with quite uh, little effort, you can achieve quite nice results, especially on uh, surfaces that have a lot of texture. And this is doing washes. So as you can see, this miniature, I only applied base colors, so there is no any shade, uh, as you can see here, but here there is the, the washes and the highlights. So you can see really the difference on the purple, on the armor, how they can look like. But now what I would like to share with what I would like to show you is how a wash uh, can really make a difference. And there are some tips that you want to take into account with the washes. First of all, is that you have to be prepared for a color change, for a tonality of the color. You have to take this into account. Okay, you see the armor have changed from uh, light brown to darker brown. Uh, this I will do a wash of black, so it will be really dark. Then we will highlight. Even the clothes, you see that is more reddish. It's because I do I use one of the glazes a wash. So you have to plan this in advance. Even this, if you see the the pinkish color on the on the head, uh, you see that it's much darker. When is once is washed, so you have to plan this in advance. You have to take into account that the colors will get darker, and yeah, and it's a thing that you will gain with experience how much dark they will get. So here I just play, paint with a very quite a light color on the armor, and I'm going to use Iglex Air Shade as a wash. And what I want to show you is here when the surface is so texturized like this type of corrugate armor the wash is really popping up all the detail. So you will see, for example, when I ju just by applying this wash here, okay, and now it's going to be glossy and will not look great, but you can see how different is between one side and the other. Okay, so to apply a wash, there is not much um, other tips to say. Uh, the, the, main imp the most important tip is that it's working very well on surfaces that have a lot of texture, a lot of uh, details. If the surface is very flat, normally the wash will not work well, will pull in some areas. It's a very uh, really thin thin paint or yeah it's it's very thin. So if you apply it just on a flat surface, a wash will not do what you want it to do. So the, sur the really is made to work on texturized surfaces. As you can see here on this armor. For example, here that is quite flat, you will see that the wash is just darkening, but will is not adding anything. I'm just applying the wash to uniform with the rest of the colors. But on really flat surfaces, the wash is not really helping a lot. Where the wash is excelling is when we have here all these type of details, and especially these things that are very texturized, like this armor with this type of corrugate finishing. Uh, for example, on feathers, the wash will do an uh, excellent job. If you want really to to make the wash work very well for you in feathers, go for a light color and make build the color with washes. I will I will do maybe another tutorial on that once I have to paint feathers. But feathers is really a type of surface where you want to work with washes and dry brushes. So here you see I apply the wash. One other important thing is to avoid the wash is what I say pulling or is accumulated in some areas. So for example here, this type of type of bandage, or I don't know what is this really, you play a wash and you will see that suddenly you can see all the strips there. Okay? So it's really a tool that is working very well, is helping a lot to do to the to give the finishing to the miniature and sometimes just with the wash is good enough to go. If you're just looking for a nice table top finishing, a wash can be just a solution to have a, a nice looking. Be aware that yeah, if you're painting uh, miniatures that have a lot of flat surfaces, like a tank for example, the wash will not add too much and will start dripping down, accumulating at the bottom of the tank. So you have to, to really understand how the wash is working, the gravity will do effect or will move the wash down if you don't have really uh, cap uh, surfaces where the capillar 
force can uh, overcome the, the gravity. Okay, so you can see how it's looking like. Now I will do also this type of vendage here at the bottom. Other important thing when you're applying washes is to let it dry. So now that we have applied this wash, I will wait until this dry and I will apply another wash later on. And I will do all the washes in the camera so you can see how it's looking, uh, how it was looking before and how it's looking just by doing washes. I will not do any highlights, any layering, any other technique. I just apply base colors and the washes and you will see that just by doing that the miniature will improve and the effort it's quite low to have a very nice result so we can stop here and I will wait until this dry before doing the next step and I come back to do the next step so as you can see this is how it's looking like now that uh, the wash is almost dry it's not enough to do the next layers uh, because I wanted to show you how to how you can modify the color by using the wash. So keeping working on the washes, another wash that I do is I use the uh, Drachi Violet to wash on this pinkish color to make it darker and yeah and give this uh, give give more depth to to this. And you will see that this is working very well on this pinkish color and will give this purple finishing that is what I, um, I was looking like. So really this, this was something that I was planning to do. So you have to plan really to a little bit to have some experience on how the colors are modified once you apply the wash. So you can see that the recesses really go darker and you can start popping up. One thing that you have to be careful, you see here I almost lost the detail. The detail will pop up, but what I recommend is when this is happening, because you put too much wash there, I just dry a little bit the brush and I remove some of the wash. Okay? It's better to do two layers sometimes of wash uh, than doing just one. And you can see, and then this part is flat, is what I was thinking, the wash is not very clean finishing, so we will need to, to work there to make it cleaner. What I'm doing now is I'm removing the excess of wash. It's always important once you do the wash to remove the excess. And the last thing I will do is to make that very dark recesses on the purple part. I will use moon oil to do a, a wash of moon oil on the on the purple part. Okay. So as you can see. Then again, I will need to stop before doing the orange gloss. Uh, the other point that uh, it's important when you are doing the washes, start from the maybe darker or the biggest areas to the smallest ones. So yeah, although I did the, this purple thing before, it's because it's not really interacting with when I'm doing the second wash and I can speed up a little bit. So I don't need to wait that the purple is, is dry before doing this other wash because I, I there will be not point zones of contact, right? So this way I started with the armor that is the central part. Once this is dry, I can do the other parts. So as you can see, this is darkening the purple. Here, when you start from a quite dark base color, the wash will not do a big difference. But I think it's helping to really it's also a way to dissimulate a little bit if you did some mistakes because we'll give a very nice sharp border to the other colors. And here for example on the bandage you can go on top of this type of bandage and add some extra dimness there. Okay, sorry my voice is not very good, I'm having a cold. Okay. And now just to save some time. I will do also the wash on the orange color, so in the next step you will be able to see, uh, so you can I can show you how we look like. And here is what I will do one thing. I will not really use a wash. I will use what is called a glaze, and the reason that is that I don't want to go very 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 dark. I want something uh, more orangey. So I will use blonde letter. This is a glaze, but you can. It's almost for me. This glaze is from Game Workshop. They are like 
mm, not very dark washes to say it in a way. So it's like medium tone, medium tone wash. As you can see, it's darkening the orange, but it's also giving deepness to this orange. And on top, the orange was quite a pain to do, was not covering very well on, on my choice on the base color. So this glaze will help to clean up a little bit the orange and give this vibrant, vibrant finishing. You see that it's now the orange will be much more vibrant. So I will apply this like if I apply a wash. I know it's a glaze, it's not exactly the same, but in that case I use the same technique. Okay. And this will give me, for me, this is the base. So this is the 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 base where to start now doing the fancy thing. So I like to to prepare my miniatures, doing the base colors, applying the washes, and then from there I can start working. And here I will show you why you have to wait. So you see, the orange and the black wash have mixed a little bit there. Okay, this is why you need to be careful when you apply two washes in a row. And this is why I don't, I, I will suggest not to do as I did here. I just wanted to do it fast, but normally I do one wash and I wait really that the next, uh, before applying the next one. Okay, so I will wait here. I will uh, stop here the camera and I will show you when all this shiny thing is, is off. And you will see how the meter is looking like just after applying the washers. So finally, this is how it looks like. You see how it's looking like after the wash. So the colors really pop up. Uh, you see that the meter have more depth. You see just the face. Of course, we will need to do some, but just this as, as a uh, top table finishing, the wash is really good. I will not finish here, the paint job on the, as you can see, after that, there is so much there is some job to do to arrive to this level, some details and some highlights. But this is, I just wanted to show you one very basic technique that can give you very good results in a very short time or very short investment. Of course here I did one miniature, if you do this in batch painting it's much, even much faster and you can have very nice results. And a good, I will say a good standard top table miniatures just by doing that and then you have to pick up some details and you can be done. Uh, of course if you want to do more highlights and more things I will explain later on how to do it. I will explain in other videos. You also see other videos where I explain how I do highlights and layering and all other stuff. Here in this video the purpose was just to show a very basic technique and how uh, some tips and give some tips about where this technique is working the best. I will not uh, I would say suggest to use this on big surfaces like tanks, planes or something like that that have, they have very flat, big flat surfaces because you will see that it's staining the, the paint job, it will not have a uniform finishing as you can see here on the shoulder part you see that it is not very nice the finishing and then you have to do some work to clean up that. So that's all for this video, uh, please let me know what do you think, give the comment uh, be, uh, yeah, in the below, leave me your comment, share, like if you have liked it, and as usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you in later, bye!